everyone and welcome to Mama Ruth's house. Thank you for joining me today. Hope everyone is doing well. I This is my very first vlog and I'm happy that you're here and, join, and decided to join me. I wanted to start, start a cooking channel for a couple years now, but you know, I was just talking myself out of it. Um, and I'm just a mama who loves to cook, eat, entertain, and craft. I've cooked for my family since I was 14, so 45 years. Um, and I've even cooked a little bit at a restaurant at um, Lake Comanche in here in California. Recently, I had a health scare. Since December 16th, I had COVID twice and bronchitis. And I was having palpitations and um, rapid heart rate. I was very fearful and it was a wake up call for me. And I decided to start a weight loss journey. And then I also started, thought I should start a vlog and bring you guys along with me on my weight loss journey so that you can help uh, be supportive and um, hold me accountable. And with all that being said, let's get into some cooking. Today we're going to make something that I absolutely love, which is chicken parm. But this one has a twist. It's, it, um, is a little healthier and um, it, it's still flavorful. Um, we're also gonna ha have a side of pasta. And all of this is something really quick because I work 44 hours a week. So I thought, oh, I have to do something fast. So it's made with jarred sauce that I doctor up a little bit. Um, with all that being said, let's get going. Let me get you down here so you can see what I'm doing. So I've already started the water and cooking the pasta in some salted water. Um, I have chicken right here. These are thin chicken breasts. You can also take one chicken breast and just slice it in between and make them thin and pound it out so that it's kind of even. I've already salt, uh, seasoned the other side. This side we're going to put some salt, a little bit of pepper, some onion powder and you're gonna see I love onion powder and garlic powder so I cook a lot with it a little garlic powder and I will have the recipe in in the um, comments and then I already have a pan that I put some olive oil in over here that's getting hot so it's ready to sear this uh, we only have to cook it a few minutes we're gonna put that over there. I'm using the tongs so I don't touch the chicken and get all contaminated. So while the chicken is cooking over there, we're going to do a couple other things. Let me just put this away. So we're gonna use some parsley. I'm going to chop it up a little bit here. Can you see? Oh, not really, huh? There we go. And this is for my pasta sauce, also for my um, spaghetti. Again, this is just a quick meal. I could make the sauce myself. Um, but when I'm in a hurry and I'm working, I just choose to do it this way. The reason I thought about doing a vlog, a cooking vlog, besides um, taking you on my journey and holding me accountable, I figure that if I do what I've always done, I'm gonna get what I've always gotten. And that's what Anthony Robbins says that. So I thought I'd try to change it up a little bit. I've lost hundreds of pounds in my life um, gained it back. So this time I'm going to do something different. Um, and I'm, I'm so glad that you're going to join me along the way. I am doing a Weight Watchers. I am not affiliated with Weight Watchers at all. I just, uh, follow the program and points. So you'll hear a lot about how many points everything is. Um, also you'll see that the nutritional value I'll post as well. Um, 
I'm just going to take you along for the challenges, my successes, my setbacks. Um, and, and maybe I can learn from you guys along the way. Um, and we'll just have a few yummy recipes. If there's anything that you'd like to see that we can lighten up, I would be happy if you put it and share it in the comments. And I will uh, see about trying to um, make it a little lighter and healthier. If it's like a comfort dish, um, like I'm probably going to make some chicken and dumplings and things like that and see, uh, you know, make them a little bit uh, healthier. All right, after we got this, we're going to make sure that our, we're going to start our pasta sauce. I'm going to use a cup of jarred sauce. Any sauce that you like is fine. Oh, I'm going to put actually in, instead in before that, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in here. About a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. Turn that on and get that going. Kind of sizzle it a little bit. I've also made this dish by not putting olive oil and just using the uh, spray canola oil and it works just fine as well. Today I decided to do the olive oil. Um, we'll see how my pasta is doing back here. I got a timer set. You'll see how easy this dish is and it's very flavorful. It only takes a little while. I think our chicken is about ready to turn. Oh, a little bit longer, I think. I'll learn along the way. I'm sure that um, my setup will, will change. As we're waiting for all that, I'm going to use the canola oil and I prepared a pan, a baking pan and we're going to spray it with some, um, just so the chicken doesn't stick. It, it's usually fine, but just in case. I'm gonna see how this is going here. A Little bit of a garlic. We're just kind of getting it a little, I'm doctoring up this pasta sauce. All right. So um, if everybody wants to, if you can drop a line on, on where you're watching from, that'd be awesome. Please uh, follow and share. That'd be wonderful. Uh, I, um, I just love cooking and I, I, um, I love entertaining. So I'm going to probably be doing, well, not probably, I will be doing a charcuterie board. Um, just some different things that I enjoy doing um, as far as um, entertaining. You can ask anyone that when I uh, put on a, a feast, it's a feast. <laughs> and uh, we really, I just, just enjoy it. Okay, I think our garlic is getting good here. Let me see. Okay, that's our pasta is ready. Oh yeah, that's nice. So we'll, um, I'll drain the pasta real quick. I'll be right back. Let me drain that. Get that all ready to go. Cook the garlic just a little bit. I'm gonna put one cup of the prepared pasta sauce in. And I told you I was going to doctor it up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Italian seasoning not a lot, maybe a, like a quarter teaspoon, a little bit of garlic powder, probably just the eighth of a teaspoon, a little bit of onion powder, because we only got a cup in there, so we're not going to do a lot, and a little pepper. All right, that's looking good. I'm going to stir that up just a little bit, heat it through. Seems like I'm making a mess. All right, I think the chicken is ready to flip over. Let's get my chicken tongs here. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I don't know if you can see that. Look how nice that looks. I'm going to flip that over.
It doesn't take very long at all to cook this chicken. It's just cooking it through. You don't want to overcook it because it's it is chicken breast and it will be uh tough and not flavorful. It'll just be kind of so while all of this we're gonna be I got the of the um broiler on. Uh, we're going to put about a quarter cup of just regular any kind of pasta sauce jarred um, on top of our chicken. And then we're going to put one piece of provolone on each piece, each piece, put it in the broiler for just a few minutes until it gets nice and bubbly and brown and um, pull it out and we'll be ready to plate. I am, however, because I, this is a quick dinner, um, because I, I do work, as I said before, I'm going to use, this, this is one of my favorite, these are one of my favorite things to go to are is just like a a medley and then you can just microwave it it's delicious it's easy i don't have to cut up a bunch of vegetables um and that cooks about six minutes in my microwave i know yours may be different and everything that i do here is um the way i do it you may do it differently and that's fine every everyone cooks differently through and doctored it up a little bit we're going to put that right into our pasta just mix that up a little bit just to get it some. And you can see how that's looking. Just a little saucy. It's just something. Our chicken is just about ready. Just a little bit longer here for the chicken. So I started Weight Watchers on January 14th and I'm proud to say that so far I've lost 12 pounds. I have a long ways to go and uh, I just am, am excited because I'm I'm cooking more, I'm enjoying the foods that I'm eating and my husband is enjoying them which is wonderful because uh, when I have done this in the past he wasn't he wasn't thrilled with a lot of the foods but this time around he's been enjoying everything that I've made. All right. I'm going to move that out of the way so we can get our pan over here and get it ready to put our chicken on there. I turned up the heat just a little bit, brown it a little. The smaller piece right here is is good. That's done already. I just wanted to make sure you're able to see. I've already thought of some wonderful things that we can make for for Easter holiday. Um, if you guys would like, I could make um, corned beef and cabbage uh, for St. Patty's Day. And anything else you guys can think of, just put it down there and I will be happy to make it. I'm going to read all the comments and and I will be posting this on Thursday of this week. That's the 16th. And then I will be posting another one the following Thursday. And then the next one, give you a little sneak peek, is going to be red lentil and sweet potato soup. And it is amazing. And homemade naan. We're going to do a garlic butter naan. Oh, yeah, this is looking great. Turn that off. We'll get this going here. That piece is just a little bit thicker. That's why I usually try to pound it a little bit. But these were flat already. They were already thin pieces. Let that cook just a minute. I started exercising last week and I thought I was going to be able to do five minutes three times a week on the rowing machine, but I think from being ill and just overweight, period, I was only able to do three minutes and I was kind of disappointed in myself and then I thought about it and I said, you know what, hey, I did three minutes 
three times a week. And I also did my little riding bicycle uh, on the other days. So, hey, it's a, it's a start. So hopefully this week I'll be able to do five minutes. That's my goal for this week. I'll let you all know. All right, that looks great. We're gonna, oh, I used my other tongs. Oh, that was wrong. Okay. Put these over here. All right, now we're gonna take about a quarter cup of our jarred sauce and just put that right over our pasta, I mean our chicken. And put that right on the chicken. You'll see this is so yummy. You don't miss the cook, the breading and the, the oil and all that at all. It, it's wonderful. I wish you guys could smell how wonderful it smells. We're gonna take a piece of the cheese and put it on each piece. And then we'll put that in the broiler. And there's our there's our, our vegetables. Let's get this in the broiler. It doesn't take long at all, so be careful and watch it in the broiler because it'll it'll uh it'll cook quickly and you will be it'll burn quick. So we have to really watch that. I got a new tong, so we're going to start plating this. I'm going to get out our vegetables out of our microwave. You'll see how beautiful these turn out for, you know, what they are. Ow. So it's hot, of course, just got out of the microwave. Take my... Just pour them in here. To see how nice they look. Okay, we don't want to forget our, we're gonna put about a half a cup of pasta on our plate. Can you see that? Okay. Then we're going to put about a teaspoon of some Parmesan cheese, some fresh parsley, and then we're also going to put some of our lovely vegetables on here, on the side, looks amazing. And let's check our chicken. Oh, yes, perfect. So it's just that easy. The chicken is already done. Looks amazing, smells amazing. We're going to put a little bit of uh, fresh parsley on there. So it looks amazing. And then we'll take our, let's get this piece right here. That looks fantastic. Cheese is so cheesy. Look at that. Well, Going to plate that. Doesn't that look fantastic? And that is four point chicken right there. And this whole meal, I think, I don't remember how many points that is, but it's very low points for the whole thing. Very healthy. Um, so I think we need to try it. How about you? 
just taste a little piece how it tastes. We need we need smell a vision here. And you can see it's just going to be hot. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Thanks for watching. Until next time, make an awesome day.